Hey everyone, welcome to the Bachido Blogcast. Carl Abbott, and we're here in a beautiful companion bake shop in sunny Santa Cruz. Currently cloudy. So I won't tell you anything, right? Um, today's a very special day, not just because it's the weekend, where well, I've had espresso. Um, James, do you mind? Um, but today, we're gonna be roasting our own coffee beans with the blowtorch. And with our two friends, um, oh, I'm not drunk, oh, with our friends, James and Riley, and myself, and Luke's behind the camera filming, and he might join them too. Good times all around. Here we go. Let's do it. Do it. Um, we're here at the companion, wait, beep. We're here at the companion laboratory now. This is actually happening. This is awesome. No, I heard about this the first time. My my friend went to a shop in Oregon, like outside of Portland, and uh, they they were advertising high quality home roasting. And he said there was this this punk chick in the back with a blowtorch standing on this table, blowtorching every single bean, <laughs> and they claimed that made it better. She was turning them over with a tong, apparently. Like she'd spray one side and turn it over and spray the other side. No, he said this was legit. Like, she was doing this for like hours. They take like 10 minutes to make it enough for one shot, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's not even enough for one shot. Like, maybe a, a four ounce cup of coffee right yeah. here. <laughs> We're lucky. So, who's gonna christen the event? Kyle, you wanna do it? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, order up. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, I mean, these are actually kind of darkening. Maybe we'll start a new trend, like gross coffee. Hey, it's better than Starbucks. <laughs> we're, we're, we're releasing the flavors now. We're an active process. Through <laughs> <laughs> caramelization of sugar beans. Right. Gluten <laughs> free. <laughs> It's gonna be like the smallest cup of coffee ever. Oh, God, it's hard. Those are my Still want to crack this ceramic. Yeah, dude, seriously. Now, if world, if you want the Shamisen community world to be saved, someone finds something more interesting than this. <laughs> How long should we let this? Five minutes. We're gonna get as much flavor out of this as possible. So I'm here with James Ong, a uh, local espresso expert and shamisen enthusiast. Uh, he almost bought a shamisen from me, but he was waiting for the money. And in the meantime, I had two people want to buy that shamisen. Then the money didn't come through, and both the other people uh, got other shamisen. So. Oh, they did? Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, he's making up for it. So if you're interested in the shamisen, it's Naguta, Koki Wood, Dog uh, natural skin. Yeah, let me know. Oops. Okay, he's ready to drink from the goblet of fire. <laughs> How bad is it? It kind of just tastes like plastic. I mean, it tastes like the beans smell when they're unroasted. It does taste a little bit like fluid yeah. too, like lighter fluid. Oh. It's got a chemical flavor. It does a little chemical, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was just a disaster. Hey, look at look at Kyle's face. I never thought it would be that bad. Everyone always says they've had something that tastes really bad, and I guess until now, everything you've tasted has been like marginally good compared to this. I mean, it's great coffee. It's delicious.
<laughs> no one should ever drink that. <laughs> ever <laughs> again. <laughs> That's so gross. What's gross is asking people to take a sip of that. <laughs> this is hands down like the worst coffee I've ever had. I like to think we're a little more sophisticated than this. Yeah, <laughs> I almost don't even want to post this now, but it was like a fun journey. It was a fun figure out. Because now I debunk, it's like Mythbusters. So like, that, that's a myth. It's busted too. This is busted. Coffee busted. 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 She's, she's not real. <laughs> she's like a unicorn, bro. Alright, you wanna do some matcha? matcha. I want something matcha good. Time. I want something right. good. It's an acquired taste. It's like you know blue what? cheese or something. You know what? It's, it's like, like blue cheese. cheese. It's like when I was a kid. <laughs> no, it's disgusting. No, it's, it's not like even close to blue cheese. cheese. It's an acquired taste. Blue cheese can be good. This is bad. Well, when you're a